Hello, dear students. How are you? I hope you're doing well. My name is Rania Isa, and I'm going to be your English teacher this lesson. In this lesson, we're going to talk about ads and you. What does the word ads mean? We're going to find out soon. So let's start. Okay. Let us start by taking a look at this picture. As you can see in the picture, there are a lot of ads. Do you see the word ads? There are a lot of ads on the street. Ads is a word that is the short of a longer word, which is advertisement. Very good. Advertisements and means actually ads. Have you seen the word ads before? I'm sure you did because whenever you go to different sites, you see a lot of ads, right? Ads are everywhere. Everywhere you go, there are ads. Can you think of places where you can find ads? Great! We already talked about finding ads on the street, just like you can see in the picture. And we talked about ads that are on websites, in social media, right? And there are also ads in the Newspaper, right. Newspaper, the newspaper usually has ads, right? Ads are trying to sell us something, right? The ads try to convince us or to make us buy things. We're going to talk about how ads do that soon because I think this topic is very important. So we can find ads on the street, on certain websites, social media, newspapers, right? Can you think of other places where we have ads, where we have advertisements? Great, let's move on. Okay, so what do ads tell us? Do they tell us to have a better life? Or do they tell us to buy things? Or do they tell us to make things? What do you think? What do ads tell you? Right, to buy things. That's why we have ads. We have ads for many products. Can you think of products that have ads? Right, ads try to convince you to buy a car, a computer, a smartphone, food, any product that you can think of that you can buy in a store, you can have ads that try to tell you to buy this thing. Did you notice that? Great. Okay, so this is what we're going to do now. We are going to watch an ad. We're going to watch an advertisement. And we said that advertisements try to sell us something. They try to make us buy something. Ads try to sell us because they want us to buy something. Okay? We're going to watch an ad. The ad that we're going to watch is a TV advertisement. It's on TV. 
Sometimes you can find written ads, like a text, and an ad can also be a video. We're going to watch a video. Can you think of an ad that you've watched lately? Well, what did it try to sell you? To buy what? Were you convinced? Do you like seeing ads? Great. So, we're going to watch an ad that was aired on TV. And I'm going to give you a clue, a small clue. There's something about this ad that really encourages people to watch it. How does this advertisement make people watch and make them feel interested in looking at the ad, in watching the ad in this case because it's a video? So we're going to watch an ad and I would like you to pay attention to two questions. How many questions? Two. Let's read them together. What does this ad tell us to buy? There's a product that this ad is trying to make us buy. What is it? What's that product? And the second question is, how does this advertisement try to convince us to buy this product? I will repeat. What does this ad tell us to buy? And how does it do that? How does it convince us to buy the product? Why do you think we're interested in buying this product? And how does this ad make us buy it? I promise you, it's a very interesting ad. You're going to love it. Why? Because there is a famous character in the advertisement. I'm not going to tell you who that person is, but I really need to uh, tell you to think about why ads usually bring famous people. Why do they bring famous people when they want to advertise something? Did you ever think about it? Okay, great. So, what does this ad try to, to, to tell us to buy? And how does, how does it do that, actually? So, what and how? Okay. Mm, can you recognize him? Right. That's a very famous actor, and his name is The Rock, right? And that, this is an advertisement that he filmed. If you take a look at the picture in front of you before we watch uh, the video, before we watch the video, what is he doing? Okay, right? He's drinking milk. Yes. And look at the background. What do you see in the background? Great. Very good. You see... I can see buildings and I can see a spaceship, right? So there are many spaceships. That's strange. How is that possible? I'm going to let you watch. So what is the product and how? Does this advertisement convince us to buy this product? Let's watch. Okay, I'm going to let this open up so we can all watch, pay attention to the questions. I told you the questions beforehand because I need you to pay attention to those things when you watch. Okay, it's very important that you notice these things. Great. So, are you ready? Let's begin watching the video. Rider milk. Mister, up there. I'm sorry, honey. Gotta go. Please, 
Okay, I'm gonna watch. Did you like this? I'm gonna put it just. Okay, I'm gonna stop here. So, what do we have here? We have a very famous um, uh, character who is the rock. And what is the product that this advertisement is trying to sell us? Right, milk. Very good. And how does it do that? How does it do that? Great. You can see that there, there are a lot of things going on, a lot of action, a lot of things going on. Maybe, did you see the spaceship? Maybe aliens invaded the, the, the area, right? And you can see a lot of actions. Do you remember? What kind of things did the rock see on his way to buy the milk? A lot of things. I'm going to let you watch that again. And I would like you to pay attention to the things that he sees while he's trying to get the milk. And he resists doing anything about it until he drinks that milk. And why? Because as we see at the end, there's something about that milk. I need you to pay attention to that. So what's the action that is going on? And what's the message at the end of the video? Let's watch. We're out of milk. Okay, so what do we see here? We see that I'm going to go back to our presentation here. We see a girl who needs help bringing her cat off the tree. Did you see that? Right. What else did we have? Yes, an old lady screaming for help. And we also have robbers who tried to rob a bank. And he didn't stop to help them, right? Because he was on his way to get the milk. What else? Did you see the animals around? Right, so maybe animals escaped, maybe from the circus, because I think I saw a car, like um, a truck for, um, for the circus. Did you see that? Right, so he... Really ignored all those things to get the milk. Why? Because he needs the protein from the milk in order to be strong so he can um, save the day. Right? Did you pay attention to that? That's the message behind this video, behind this advertisement, that milk can make you strong because you drink protein. It gives, you pro gives your body protein. So that's how this advertisement tries to convince us to buy this milk. Now, you, as a viewer, would you watch it again? I'm sure you would, because you would like to watch the action and again and again and again and again, and every time you watch it, you discover new things, just like we did when we watched it twice. So that's an example of an advertisement. In this lesson, we're going to talk about advertisements and how they affect us. That's why this lesson is called Ads and You. Okay, let's take a look at this picture. What do we have here? We have a beautiful woman. She's not only beautiful, as you can see, she's holding a book, so she's probably smart. 
right? Sometimes add try to convince you that if you buy a certain product, you will be beautiful. If you buy this product, you will be smart. So, whenever you think of, a, of an advertisement and you read it, it really makes you feel that you want to buy it because you want to be beautiful, you want to be smart, you want to be perfect, you want to be cool, you want to be like everyone else, right? Did you think about that? What do we have here? Can you recognize this character? Pinocchio, right. What does Pinocchio do? Pinocchio, Pinocchio lies. That's why he has a very long nose. So, if you don't lie, you tell the truth. Right? To tell the truth is the opposite of lying. If we connect that to our topic of advertisements and ads, do ads tell us the truth or do they tell us what we want to hear? What do you think about that? Something to think about. If it's really something that makes you beautiful, is that product really makes you cooler, right? Okay, now we're going to talk about facts and opinions. And how do they go together in terms of advertisements? Now, we said that sometimes advertisements don't really tell us the truth, right? So they are mostly based on opinions and not facts. So what are facts? A fact is something that is true and you can prove it. Okay? That's a fact. It's true and you can prove it. You can't argue with facts. You can't argue with the fact that there are, for example, seven days in a week. You can't argue with the fact that there are 24 hours in a day. Can you argue with that? No, because these are facts. Now, what about opinions? An opinion is something that you think or feel, but you cannot prove it. It's something that you think or feel. You think, you think that um, your iPhone is the best. So this is something that you think. That's your own opinion. Right? Something that you feel. For example, you can say, that show is so funny. That's your opinion. That's not a fact. Why? Because it's based on your feelings. Because this is something that you can argue about. It's not a fact. It's not something that can be proved. Okay? Now, to check your understanding about facts versus opinions, I'm going to show you some sentences and I would like you to tell me whether it's a fact or an opinion. Are you up to that challenge? Of course you are. Let's start. Great. So that's the first sentence. We use money to buy things. Is that a fact or an opinion? What do you think? In order to decide, you have to think to yourself, can I prove this? If this is something that you can prove, then it's a fact. And if it's not, if it's based on feelings and thoughts, then that's an opinion. Go ahead. What's that? Great. That's a fact. We use money to buy things. Sometimes we use our credit card, right? But that's money because this is the money that is taken from your bank account, right? So that's a fact. What about this one? The dresses in that shop are beautiful. What do you think? Is that a fact or an opinion? Perfect, you guys are amazing. That's an opinion, of course. You can argue with that. Some people might say that the dresses 
are not that beautiful, that they're ugly. Maybe that's an opinion. Everything that you read in the newspaper is true. Is that a fact or an opinion? Right, very good. Of course it's an opinion. Not everything that you read in the newspaper is true. Sometimes it's not. Have you heard of fake news? And always tell us the truth. What do you think about that? Is that a fact or an opinion? Well done. Excellent. That's an opinion. Moving on to the next one. This mall opens at 9 o'clock. Is that a fact or an opinion? Excellent. That's a fact. You can't argue with that because the mall opens at 9 o'clock. It's not based on feelings, emotions, and thoughts. If you don't wear a certain brand of shoes, then you are not cool. What do you think about that? Perfect. You guys are brilliant. That's, of course, that's an opinion. Excellent job. Perfect. Okay. Now, I'm going to leave you on a short break, but I'm not going to leave you that easily without giving you something to do. Why not? Because you should really, really, really invest in your time and spend your time effectively, don't you think? So, that's why this is what I want you to do. I would like you to take a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil and write a fact and an opinion about a product that you can buy at the supermarket. A fact and an opinion about a product. Okay? That's the first thing. Next, I would like you to think about this question. Which sentence from the sentences that you've written will you use if you want to make an ad about this product? Will you use the fact or will you use the opinion? What would you use? Okay, that's something to think about. I'm sure you're going to write down brilliant sentences. You're going to have awesome ideas. That's why I'm going to leave you on a short break and I'll be back. And we're going to talk about ads and you. So see you soon.
welcome back. Great, I'm so happy that you're here with me. Have you finished writing down the sentences that I asked you to write? Perfect. I asked you to write one sentence that is a fact and another sentence that is false about a certain product. And I also asked you to think, which sentence would you choose? Which sentence? Will you use the fact or an opinion to advertise your product? Right. Of course you're going to use the opinion. Why would you use the opinion? This is what you're going to get the answer for in the text that we're going to read today. Yay! This is your lucky day. <laughs> Let's start. Ads and you. We see ads everywhere. We see them on TV, in the newspapers, and on posters in town. Ads tell us to buy things. They tell us that these things are fantastic or cool. They say that we need these things. But do we really need them? Mm, do we? What do you think? Do we really need the things that the ads are trying to sell us? Okay. Ads want us to buy a brand. They tell us that this brand is the best. But is it? Why do we need that brand? Ads tell us that we will be happy if we buy. They say, buy this and you will be beautiful. Or, buy that and you will be popular. Who doesn't want to be popular, right? Or, Buy this and you will be cool. But do they always tell us the truth? Do they always tell the truth? I'm not sure about that. What do you think? Be smart when you look at ads. Remember that ads want you to buy. Ask yourself, do I need it? Is it really fantastic? And what are the facts? What are the opinions? Okay, that's the text. We talked about ads and how ads are trying to make us buy things by telling us that this is what you need. You need to be cool. You need to be popular. You need to be fantastic. You need to be beautiful. And how will you get that? If you buy this and if you buy that. Have you ever thought about it when you wanted to buy something? Have you ever thought about it when you, for example, wanted to buy a product and you saw an ad about it? Have you thought about it? Well, I think you really should take into account these things that we've mentioned in the text before you buy any product. You should think carefully before you, before you buy. You should think before you spend money on any product. So what do you think? Do they give us facts or opinions? I think they give us opinions because they talk to our emotions, our feelings, and they also relate to our thoughts. So, do you want to think that you're cool? Wear this brand. Do you want to think that you are popular? And everyone wants to be popular. Everyone wants to be beautiful. Everyone wants to be cool right so that's what the ad what the ads are trying to to do great now let's check your comprehension 
Let's check your understanding of the text that we've just read. Are you ready for the first question? Let's start. Okay. What do ads tell us? A. To buy the things that we need. B. To buy things because they make us fantastic and cool. Or C. To buy newspapers and read. What do you think? What do ads tell us? Is it A, B, or C? Well done. Great job. Yes, it's B. Because ads tell us to buy things because those things are going to make us feel fantastic. They're going to make us cool popular among our friends and we all want to do that and this is what the ads tell us perfect you guys are smart okay moving on to the next question buy this and you will be beautiful is an example of a what parents tell their kids b what we say to our friends or c what ads say because they want us to buy things. What do you think? When you answer these questions, which are multiple choice questions, where you have different choices and you have to choose one or two, depending on the instructions, this is why you need to read the instructions before. So when you do that, try to eliminate just cross out the answers that are not correct at all according to what you read for example a what parents tell their kids doesn't make sense right and parents were not even mentioned in the text okay so this is how you can answer it what's the answer guys the clock is ticking. Great. Perfect. It's C because that's an example of what ads say because they want us to buy something, right? They say buy this and you will be beautiful, buy that and you will be cool, buy that and you'll be fantastic, right? Perfect. Moving on to the next. Okay. Next slide is saying the following. Be smart when you look at ads. Remember that ads want you to buy. Ads want you to buy something. Think whether it's a fact or an opinion. Think to yourself, is it a fact or an opinion? And you are smart human beings and you know how to tell the difference. Plus, we talked about that. Okay, you should know about facts and opinions by now. Great. Moving on. Ooh, what do we have here? What is this product? What do you think? What's this? Look at it. It's part of a picture. It's part of a product that we're going to talk about. What do you think? That product is. Great. Excellent job. Brand shoes. Perfect. So that's an example of one product that you might buy. And this is an example of a product that you also might find a lot of ads about. Trying to convince you to buy it. What would the ads say if they want you to buy brand shoes? Yes, buy this and you will be faster than anyone else. You will run faster, right? Or you will kick the ball the highest or you're going to score a goal or anything of that matter. Something that is based on feelings, emotions, and thoughts. Definitely opinions. Okay, I would like you to give me an example of what an ad tell you about brand shoes. 
What can an ad tell you about brand shoes? I've given you some examples. I need you to come up with your own. Great. Well done. I'm going to give you another example. Maybe this ad can tell you, buy this brand shoes and you're going to get to the party first. You're going to be the first one to arrive because you're fast. And everyone wants to be the first to get to a party, don't they? I guess. You should know better than I do. <laughs> okay, great. Moving on. So what's this product? This is a tough one. That's a challenging one. Take a look. If you know the answer, then you are brilliant. Can you guess? Or do you give up? No, you don't. What's this? It's a shampoo, right? A shampoo. Very good. You use shampoo to, of course, wash your Wash your hair, make it clean and smell nice, right? So can you give me some examples of what an ad can tell you about a shampoo? What can an ad tell you about a shampoo? Think of ads that you've watched lately about shampoos. Right, maybe it can tell you your hair is going to look beautiful if you buy this shampoo. Or your hair is going to be smooth like silk if you buy this shampoo. Okay? Or you're going to be the most beautiful woman in the world if you buy that shampoo. Okay? All sentences that are, of course, opinions and that will really talk to your to your heart, your emotions. Great. Moving on to the this product. That's not difficult, right? I'm sure you guessed it. Very good. That's a smartphone. And of course, you can find many, 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 many ads about different smartphones different uh, for different companies. Now, what can an ad tell you about smartphones? Right. It can tell you, you can take the most beautiful pictures with that, I, with that smartphone. You're going to be able to download all the cool app of all the cool apps out there, for example, because you have enough space to do that. Or buy this new smartphone and you're going to be the only kid in your class who has it. Okay, so a lot, I, can, I know that you can think of a lot of examples that can relate to ads that are trying to tell you to buy something, right? And they're going, of course, to talk about opinions and they will try to convince you to buy it because that's why we have ads. Okay, now, I'm not going to let you go without a task. Because we talked about ads, we have seen an ad, and we also learned some new vocabulary, vocabulary words. And what, did we, what else did we do? We read a text about ads. We answered reading comprehension questions. And now that you are masters and you know everything about ads. That's your task for today. Your task is to decide on a product that you want to advertise. Any product. It can be a product related to fashion. It can be a product related to art. It can be related to school. Any product that you want to advertise. Think of a product. Okay, if you go to the supermarket, for example, think of what we have in supermarkets. Choose any product that you want. Okay, after you choose this product, create an ad. 
Now, when you create an ad, you can create an ad that is a poster that is trying to convince people to buy your product. Try to make your ad interesting. Now, let's stop here. How would you try to make your ad interesting? How would you do that? What makes ads interesting? Right, make it visual, make it colorful with different images, right? And of course, you have to have the name of your product designed very nicely. And of course, there's no doubt that you need a slogan. You need something, a sentence that can tell people to buy your product. So I need you to create an ad, an ad, and I need you to create this ad to be beautiful, attractive, with a very, very, very nice slogan that is catchy, that people will find attractive and they really would like to buy the product that you're trying to advertise. Hmm. I know that you're going to be to do a, gr a brilliant job in this. Okay, you're going to be brilliant doing this job. You're going to do a fantastic job, but I really need you to think carefully about the product that you want to advertise, how you're going to write your poster, what do you want to be included in there, how are you going to design it in a way that is going to be very attractive for people to take a look at and maybe convince them to buy that product? Are you up for this? Of course you are. That's your task. Once you finish writing your advertising, your advertisement, you can go ahead and share it with your teacher. Great. Okay. Now, there's also another thing that I want you to uh, that I wanted to talk about. Take a look at these QR codes. In these QR codes that you have in front of you on the screen, there are. Um, if you scan the QR code, it will take you to a Quizlet set. In the Quizlet set, you have an opportunity to review the vocabulary word that we talked about in this lesson today. And once you review them, you'll be able to use them correctly. The Quizlet set really allows you and gives you opportunity to practice the words again and again and to play some games with the words so you will be able to remember them once you want to use them in your writing or when you talk or once you want to understand them when you read the words or when you listen to them. So you choose which QR code you want to scan. There's one with a Hebrew translation and the other one is in, uh, with the Arabic translation. So choose which one uh, you want and practice because practice makes better very good. And next time you watch any ad, any ad at all, pay attention, okay, to what this ad is trying to tell you to buy and how this ad does that. And then decide to yourself, do I really need this product? Do I really want to buy this? Is it necessary? Can I live without it? And then you decide what you do with your money. And this is your choice. And be smart whenever you make that choice. Because I know you are. Okay. Thank you very much for being here with me in this lesson and for uh, being such excellent students. I'm so happy you were here. Great job. Don't forget to complete your task, to practice the vocabulary words. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.